I like airplanes, and a few years ago we went to a town near Detroit, Michigan, that has a really rare Warbirds Museum. The airplane museums we've visited over the years are interesting. They often have models of warplanes, and sometimes even the real thing, sitting silent and empty. Their finish dulled by passing years, manned only by the ghosts of the young men who once flew them in harm's way. The roar of a P-51 flying overhead was the first clue that the Yankee Air Museum in Belleville, Michigan is something different. Here they proclaim that history flies as they open the 1941 hangar doors to reveal planes that were first built in the 1930s, planes that fought in World War II and that have been restored to combat-ready condition of more than a half century ago. These planes still fly. We worked nine years on it because it was just a strip. There was nothing in it. It was completely gutted. It was airworthy, but uh, all the necessary equipment from the war uh, was all long gone. We had to either find, find it or make some more, make new. This is retired Air Force Major General Richard Bodycomb, who was the chief pilot for the Yankee Air Museum. And he's talking about their pride and joy, the Yankee Lady one of a handful of World War II B-17 bombers still flying. Today there's about 50 complete airplanes scattered around the world, but only about six or seven of them are airworthy and actually fly. Not only that, for the price of $400, General Bodycomb and his crew will take you for a once-in-a-lifetime flight in this fully armed World War II heavy bomber. We take them up the Detroit River, uh, fly around the big airport, up the Detroit River, over downtown Detroit, over the new baseball field, uh, and out to the east side of Detroit and back along the northern boundary of uh, the city, back to War Run. That takes about 35 minutes. General Bodycomb says the flights are usually made, weather permitting, on Wednesday afternoons and by reservation only. On weekends, the B-17 is flying to air shows around the country. A chance to fly on a historic airplane, and it's just a one-tank trip away in Belleville, Michigan. Incidentally, the Yankee Lady is still flying, and the museum is still there. By the way, my new book, The Best of One-Tank Trips, is now available in all the bookstores. I'm Neil Zerker.